ሰላም ሰላም እንዴት ናችሁ ዛሬ ባዮሎጂ የፓይለት ቴስት ይዘን መተናል እንደወትሮ ላይክ እና ሰብስክራይብ አድርጋችሁን ስለምትጀምሩ እና መሰግናለን መልካም ቆይታ question 1 which of the following is correct about negative feedback mechanism in animals it keeps the normal set point by a coordinating sensory control center and affected components to return the change back b modifying the anatomical structures involved in the specific physiological activities c initiating the effector components of the organisms to accelerate a change in the body's condition d randomly depending on the type of stimulus that brings change to the internal environment The correct answer is A coordinating sensory control center and effector components to return the change back. Explanation Negative feedback mechanisms work to maintain homeostasis, a stable internal environment, by counteracting any deviations from a set point. This involves Sensory receptors detect changes in the internal environment. Control center receives information from the sensory receptors and initiates a response. Effectors, organs or tissues that carry out the response to bring the system back to the set point. Question 2. Enzyme A catalyzes only substrate B. This indicates that enzymes are dot .a specific to their substrates. B sensitive to their substrates. C agents that reduce activation energy. D components of the substrate molecules. The correct answer is A specific to their substrates. Explanation Enzyme specificity means that an enzyme will typically only bind to and catalyze a reaction involving one particular substrate or a very small number of structurally similar substrates. Question 3. Which one of the following statements is correct about the tertiary structure of a protein? It is determined by a. The arrangement of the alpha and beta sheets by hydrogen bonding. B. The amino acid sequence of the polypeptide linked together by peptide bond. C. The hydrogen bond, ionic bond and hydrophobic interactions that results in a globular shape. D. The arrangement of multiple protein subunits associated in several protein chains. The correct answer is... Explanation C. The hydrogen bond, ionic bond and hydrophobic interactions that results in a globular shape. Tertiary structure is the 3D shape of a single protein chain determined by interactions between amino acid side chains A or groups like hydrogen bonds, ionic bonds and hydrophobic interactions. Question 4. Genetic pedigree analysis enables the scientists to study a. How traits and disease are inherited. B. The effects of environment on phenotypes. C. How genetic traits prevent human from infectious disease. D. Morphological variation between individuals. The correct answer is A. How traits and disease are inherited. Explanation Genetic pedigree analysis is used to trace the inheritance patterns of traits and diseases across generations, helping scientists understand how specific traits or genetic conditions are passed down. Question 5. Which one of the following alternatives contains a list of common human genetic disorders? A. Down syndrome, cancer and tuberculosis. B. Albinism, diabetes and schizophrenia. C. Hemophilia, cystic fibrosis and albinism. D. Diabetes, leprosy and Down syndrome. The correct answer is C. Hemophilia, cystic fibrosis and albinism. 
Explanation Hemophilia, cystic fibrosis and albinism are all well-known genetic disorders caused by mutations in specific genes. Question 6. Carrying capacity is defined as the place where organisms live and play its role in the environment. B. Maximum population that the available resources can sustain. C. Growth of population under ideal environmental condition. D. Ability of an individuals to cope up a changing environment. The correct answer is B. Maximum population that the available resources can sustain. Explanation Carrying capacity specifically refers to the maximum number of individuals of a particular species that an environment can support indefinitely, given the available resources, food, water, shelter, etc., and the environmental conditions. Question 7. Why afforestation is considered as the best soil conservation mechanism? Because it a. covers the surface soil from the effect of wind and water. B. Facilitates the movement of water during rainy season. C. Facilitates the leaching of surface soil minerals. D. Reduces humus content of the top soil. The correct answer is A. Covers the surface soil from the effect of wind and water. Explanation Afforestation, planting trees where there were none before, is a great soil conservation method primarily because the tree cover protects the soil from erosion caused by wind and water. The roots of the trees also help bind the soil together. Question 8. What is genetically modified organism means? It is an organism. A. Which maintains species uniformity? B. With high productivity by its nature. C. Hybridized using a traditional system of breeding. D. That received hereditary material from other species. The correct answer is... D. That received hereditary material from other species. Explanation a genetically modified organism, GMO, is one whose genetic material has been altered by introducing genes from another species, giving it new traits not found naturally. Question 9. Why wastewater from domestic or industrial sources are treated biologically before dumping to the main water body? It is because the process a. increases the volume of water and facilitates its evaporation. B. Eliminates any microorganisms from the wastewater. C. Reduces the amount of organic matter of the wastewater. D. Increases the biochemical oxygen demand of the wastewater. The correct answer is... C. Reduces the amount of organic matter of the wastewater. Explanation Biological treatment of wastewater breaks down organic matter using microorganisms, reducing pollution and making the water safer before release into the environment. Question 10. Which one of the following life processes is conducted in living organism to produce larger molecules from smaller ones? A. Respiration. B. Decomposition. C. Catabolism. D. Anabolism. The correct answer is D. Anabolism. Explanation. Anabolism is the process where living organisms build larger molecules from smaller ones, using energy for growth and repair.